Y'all know what time it is. Huge announcement coming from the Jeff Leeson Show. But before we get into that, I just want to get a little bit personal. I'm a little bit cheesed today, I got to tell you. I've never used that term before. But I think it's it's uh, definitely suits the way that I feel today. I'm a little cheesed about a, a haircut I had this afternoon. Today, in the interest of saving time, not going to the other side of the city... I went to some place real close. It was ter- it was not a good experience. Please don't leave comments like, "Yeah, bro, your hair looks stupid and and uh, you look ridiculous and you definitely chose the wrong place to go." Okay? Cuz it took an hour. It was a 60-minute haircut start to finish. That's too long. She spent I'm not joking, 20 minutes shaving the back of my neck with a razor. Nobody looks there. There's never going to be a time in my life where I'm about to close a business deal or I'm about to get lucky and somebody goes, oh, I, listen, I, w- I would I would do this with you, but look at your neck. There's a whole butchering situation that went on on this side. I got no hair anymore on the back. It's just gone. If not for the big announcement today, I'd be really upset. This is groundbreaking. It's not. I use that inappropriately. As of today, and I don't know when you're watching this, but it's already happened, so I know I can, I know that's not a lie. I know for sure that as of today, we have a main sponsor. Cue the the fireworks. Cue them. Don't we, we didn't get a budget for a fireworks guy? I thought we had a budget now for fireworks. We don't even have a budget for me to really talk to someone in here. The point is, we now have a main sponsor. And our main sponsor is none other than, drum roll, it's going to have to be me, David Hooper, financial advisor from CIBC, Wood Gundy. Can we get a picture of him? I think we can put a picture of him in at least, right? Yeah, we can do that. Looks like the third member of the Manning family, brothers Peyton and Eli. And he looks like the third brother who couldn't quite throw a football. So he decided what they did with their money. You are going to see in every episode this logo. Get it in here. Oh, boom. There it is. Was it good? Did you like the way it came in? I, In my mind, it came in like... <laughs> but they probably just went like that. You, if you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I got a lot of money. Like, I got way too much money, and I don't know what to do with it. Well, I know someone that does. Uh, don't come to me, because I don't know what to do with money, clearly. I'm in a basement right now. That's a blanket behind me. We had to put the stain on the other side. <laughs> so if you're a person with money, and you want to make more money, see David Hooper. If you're a person who doesn't have much money, but you got enough money, where you think you want to give it to somebody to make you more money, go see David Hooper. Go see him and say, hey, I love your brothers. If I had money, I'd certainly take it to David Hooper. i go, hey, Hoopster. I wonder if that's his uh, nickname. The Hoopster. Who wouldn't want to go see the Hoopster with your money? Hey, what are you going to do with that 50 grand? Taking it to the Hoopster. Yeah, and he got me Broncos tickets. Don't know how he did it. We'll see you next week, everybody. Good night! Or good morning, if you're watching this in the morning. Are you late for work? Are you on the bus? Are you on the bus? I'm sorry. Oh, man. What happened? DUI? Hopefully you're not on the bus. If you are, though, thanks for watching. And every day, I hope you turn something like this on and cheer yourself up. Because things obviously aren't going well. You know what? Take take a little bit of money over to David Hooper and I guarantee you a year from now you won't be on the bus. You'll be in a Uber. Oh,